to to go on Kyle's question, you have like like a number of cuts or edits you have. It's infinitely more entertaining than if you just keep it on the middle one. I feel like I've I've studied so much that I've just trained my brain to be a neural network to just recognize when a video is good or when a pe- person will, sense. Will, won't watch. So I'll I'll be like, okay, if I was like, let's say like I don't know, a, a guy that loves playing Minecraft, you know, and I'm like fucking 15, and I'll watch with that mindset, and I'll be like, yeah, this part would be boring. But you also have to like, because you can only focus on one perspective at a time, so you also have to kind of like brain shift around your demographic too to like, you know, make sure it fits all of them. So it's like, there are like a hundred different ways I can make that video where I'll still like it. Have you ever tried to like uh, shift the content a little bit where you could bring in an <laughs> older audience or be like, oh, I'm going to bring in a different demo? Well, that's where the 18 plus uh, YouTube would be amazing. How yeah. would they not? Like, okay, I'll give you yeah, Susan's yeah, yeah. number. You give her the yeah. event. Um, well, just in general, right? Because soccer has a lot of players. Everyone sees the boxing and they're leaning into boxing, but no one's really leaning into other sports, which clearly like there's a demand for all of it.